guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I wanted to come on, and I'm trying to use up some of my scraps that I have here, so I was going to make some handmade, homemade embellishments. So, look at my messy, wonderful desk. <laughs> Don't know how wonderful, but it certainly is messy. Um... I'll just quickly run through some of the things I've got here. I got some different scallop punches that I have used my scrap papers and um, the with the color thing that I had been working on recently all laid out here and cut into scraps or cut the scallops in different size into scraps. I had recently made a valentine that, like pocket letter and I had a lot of leftover hearts so I have those here and let me see what I did with my little valentine. I'll show you real quick. Here it is. <laughs> if it can all fit in the screen. Um, this is going to someone and it'll be a surprise so I'm not going to say who but I made a giant wand here and on the back it has a heart with a pocket and then I made uh, a flip book and didn't really decorate it so it's for them to decorate and I used one of those Target heart pouches so that's what my leftover hearts were for <laughs> from I should say <laughs> and then I have a little flamingo pick that's three dimensional that I've got here I have a small rosette that I made and try to figure out what I'm going to do that. Some real seashells that I have here. Some little birds. I got this silver sparkle uh, thread and it feels more like fishing twine than thread. I've got some different bling, pink, blue, and yellow, which goes with my color theme that I've got going on here. Um, I got two stamp sets that I pulled out. And this one is Me To You Easter, um, and I'm not for sure, carte blanche. And um, I believe my good, I, I don't believe, I know, my good crafty friend Donna over at Little Paper Man's, um, Little Spaceman Paper Crafts had sent this to me. And then I'm using one of my Lawn Fawn stamps but I'm just using smile, the word smile out of this. And out of this one, the only one I'm using is best wishes. So wanted to share that. Got those on my acrylic block ready to go. I've got some yellow paper flowers, some little buttons. I got some K and Company um, die cuts and pop-ups. And then Hazelwood one canoe two die cut shapes and American crafts and then I have some butterfly buttons that are wood some more wood buttons of different uh, shapes and not shapes but designs a little bit of blue twine baker's twine and a whole thing of wood um, embellishments or wood veneers. I've got my Tuxedo Memento Black Ink and my Lawn Fawn Wild Rose Ink here as well. And then I have Ranger's Clear Embossing Powder. The lid's off so I can't turn it up. <laughs> it's set inside a coffee filter. And then my Lawn Fawn uh, Stamp Chamois is here as well. So, uh, um, Obviously, I've got a lot here, and I'm not going to use it at all on camera. I will be using it all, just not on camera. Um, one of the first things that I want to uh, share with you is a very small envelope that you can make. And, uh, um, and that's what I'm going to make with this piece of craft cardstock. So let me get grab my phone. And I want to show you something. There is an app called the Envelope Generator that is for the We Are Memory Keepers Envelope Punch Board. And what I've done 
is I've typed into my app, and I don't know if you can see it there or not, that my card width is one and three quarters uh, by one and three quarters high. And you can type in any dimensions that your card once your card is finished what the dimensions are and it'll tell you um, how to make your envelope and it tells me my paper size is three and three quarters and my first punch and score guideline is at one and seven eighths so that's what that I wanted to share that with you. I don't know if anybody knows about this envelope generator. I've had it for a couple years now, and uh, um, it was actually made for the one, two, three punch board, I believe this app was created for. And I'm an Apple user, so it's an iPhone app. I don't, I do not know if they make an Android app, and it is a free app if I remember correctly. And you can also do in inches or centimeters. So, I'm going to make an envelope. And I've made my little envelope here, and it measures 2 inches by 2 inches. And it looks like this, and I made a little liner for the inside of it. And I'm not going to close down this flap, so I'm not worried that I made my liner all cattywonka, so to speak, because <laughs> you can see it, because I'm not going to use... The back of it's not going to be seen. And so I'm going to get started first off with decorating up this envelope as an embellishment. And I've got one of my pink scallop circles here that I'm thinking I'm just going to pop right on the inside. And I'm not going to think too hard. I'm just going to do it. Because most of the time when you just don't think and you just do it it comes out cuter in the long run or at least I believe it does so I've got one of my uh, bright pink glittered scallop circles and then another scallop circle from some uh, pattern paper and I am gonna do these kinda right there like so I believe I'm gonna put this one down first put it right there. You know what? I'm going to put some more of my tape runner down here for a second because I'm going to use some of this silver thread and I'm just going to loop it around my hands here several times. Take my scissors and cut it off. And then I'm just going to pop that down into that glue. This end popped loose, so I'm going to pop it back around here into the glue, if my old eyes can see. There we go. So it's got some cute little loop-de-loops. I don't know if you can see those or not. <laughs> and now I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of the glittered one as well. And that'll hide all that glue that I, I just placed down. So, it's looking cute already. And see, and we're just going for it. <laughs> so that makes it even better, right? I had stamped out and cut into a flag shape, Smile. And I did that with my pink Lawn Fawn ink and used some of the clear uh, embossing powder. And see here, I'm probably going to just go away from my, oh, I, I'm not liking it 100%, but you know what? Like I just said, just go for it. Don't overthink it. So that's what I'm going to do. Even though the <laughs> everything's telling me to change it. Don't leave it like that. I don't like it. But I'm going to, and I'm just going to pop that up on a piece of foam tape even though I don't really want to. <laughs> but, that's the point. We don't have to be all perfectionist. So I'm going to put that on there, a little cattywampus, like so, right like that. I'm wondering if I should use one of these little birds. I think I will. Pop one of those on there, too. Put a little adhesive on there. Pop it down. 
as well. And see, and the envelope is still open. You can put some goodies and stuff in there if you chose to. And let's see about if I should, I'm trying to decide if I want to put some of the bling on here. Okay, I think I will, but I don't like the strip around the bottom. I'm not going to do that. And these are connected, so it makes it easy to have a nice straight line when you cut them off together, like so. I'm using my paper piercer here because it's just easier to pick things up. I'm going to put a couple right there, I believe. And I like that. That looks kind of cute. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see more of what I'm doing. Not that much. Maybe that's better. And then I think I'll put a couple of them down the side of my little uh, flag that I've made there too. So let me cut a couple more of those loose. think that made a cute little embellishment, don't you think? Kind of uh, um, monotone, or not monotone, but all, oh, oh you, you guys know what I'm trying to say. Basically all the same colors and different hues. <laughs> so I think that turns out pretty cute. So I'm going to be done with it, and that's, and that's it. So let me set it off to the side. I need, to, I forgot to clean off my stamp here so let me clean that off from where I stamp smile on that now let's go with this next let me see what I want to do here with the rosette mm. I really want to use that flamingo because it's so cute but my scallop is not big enough I have another blue scallop here here that's bigger I like that. Let's see here with the yellow ones. Is there another one that's a little smaller? Yes. And I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to put these together. Those two scallops together. Remember, we're not going to stress. We're just going to go with it. <laughs> and that's much easier said than done. I know because I like stress over everything. So, it's good to have a lesson in freestyle and just taking it easy and no stressing. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Now, with my little flamingo here, it's the honeycomb. And it goes something like that. But I don't want the honeycomb to be double-sided, which it would be. So what I'm going to do here is find some tape. And I'm going to tape it together right there. Or I'm going to try to tape it together right there. Ah! get my fingers out of it. So there we go. I have too much tape, so I'm just going to cut that away. Get that piece of tape out of the way. Ah, I, squ I squished my honeycombs. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to put and I'm going to put him right there. Just so cute, simple, and sweet. So what I'm going to do is cut this white part off that was supposed to have gone down. And I don't want the pick either. Woo, that went flying. And I'm just going to put it right there. That's kind of cute, don't you think? 
and so I don't squish my honeycomb anymore. I'm going to just going to put a little wet glue back here. And I'm using the Tombow Mono Multi. My desk is such a disaster. Everything's fallen everywhere. <laughs> so, now let me see what else I want to do here. Do I want to add a seashell? Well, if I do a seashell, I probably want to do a group of them, I think. But no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not liking that. So, let me see this packet of ephemera here. There's a gold heart in here that I might like. And I do like, I do like that. I like that. I like that gold heart. How does that look inside the pink heart? I'm going to do that. I believe I will do that. Put some adhesive on the gold heart. Attach it to the light pink one. And I'm going to bring out my Tombow Mono Malty again. And put some of that on the bottom. Which is the only place I'm going to need it. And put it down here. Put it right there. So I'm liking that. Now, there's some yellow ribbon here setting off to the side that I'm almost out of. I'm going to tie a quick little bow with this and see if I should do that too. And I think I will go ahead and attach that down too. Let me get that cut off. Scoot that back out of my way. I got glue dots somewhere if I can find them again. Here they are. <laughs> Very unorganized craft desk today. <laughs> That's the reason I'm trying to do make some embellishments so I can clean up my desk. So I got that glue dot on my ribbon and now I'm just going or my little bow and I'm just going to attach it right there. Another cute little embellishment, a little larger than most, but it's cute. I think. I think. <laughs> so let's let's keep going here. We'll try to get a couple more of these made if I can. So let's see here. Let's bring in this pink heart. Let's see what we can do with this. I like this yellow scalloped. Yellow scallop there. Let's see. And another pink scallop. That's looking kind of cute. Let's see what these, what kind of butterflies we have here. That might look cute. I want to stay in that pink purple family, I believe. Oh, this one will work great because it's got a little bit of yellow on it. Put 
that right there. You think? Let's get these out of the way. Just scoot them out of the way. I think I'll do that like that. Um, let's see here. Let me get my stamp out. Do this one in best wishes. I've got a piece of... Yeah, i got a of craft cardstock here. I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Ink that up. Stamp that down. Looks all right. I'm going to bring in my embossing powder, and I forgot to use my embossing buddy on that. Hope it doesn't stick. Too bad. Knock off the ex excess. And it has stuck really bad. That's the reason you use this wonderful little embossing tool. And it's right in reach, so I have no excuse for that. Okay, let me go. I'm going to heat emboss this, and I'll be uh, right back over. Okay, got that heat embossed and flagged the one end of it. Now I'm going to put these little scallops down. Or put them together like so. Go with the back side. Put some more on there. Put it like so. Now I'm going to flip this over my little flag of best wishes. Put some adhesive on that. get a good amount on there or try to and I'm going to use this silver thread again oh I'm stuck to it find the end of my thread and I'm just going to place it in the glue and just make loops in place this time. Just letting the thread do its natural, however it naturally wants to go. And now I'm going to cut that off. And then, those are big loop-de-loops. <laughs> I'm going to put it at an, at an angle on here. And then I'm going to use the wet glue again to lay down my wooden butterfly. Put that there. And then let's see. I think I will put down a couple of these too, of the yellow bling. There's two that I've got together, if I can get those off. So, like that, or like this, I think I'll do it like that. right there and I'm going to cut off one more so we can so I can have three and put it down here I think so I think that looks cute too so I've got lots of goodies here to do and to keep going and to make tons of these so just going to bring these 
three embellishments back in that I just made and what do you think? You should give it a try too. I think they're really cute. So, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below and uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me very much, and I hope you go and um, download the envelope generator for the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board, because you'll find it very useful, and you can make a million different sizes of envelopes. Take care, guys. Cheers.